Good evening. I'm Essie Patha Merkerson, and welcome to From the Archives, presented by the Harlem Stage Gatehouse. Tonight's offering, Conversations with Mary Lou, was written by Professor Farrah Jasmine Griffin and stars Carmen Lundy, featuring Kenny Davis on bass and Casa Overall on drums. Conversations with Mary Lou was an idea conceived by composer, pianist, and educator, the late, great Jerry Allen. Now, although the gatehouse remains closed, it's important that we stay connected. Our community of artists stay connected. So enjoy tonight's performance and please, if you can, Make a donation. The moment a soloist's hand touches his instrument, ideas flow from his mind, through his heart, out his fingertips, mind and heart. If the mind stops, there are no ideas, just mechanics. If the heart stops, there is no feeling, there is no feeling, there is no feeling.
jazz is a thing that feeds love. It is healing to the soul. The best way, the only way to learn how to play is through a playing musician. I learned from the best, my mama and all those Pittsburgh men. And the legends, that's Walla and Jelly Roll. Been playing since I was two years old. Professional since six and on the road at 12. In Kansas City during the Depression, Count Basie and I used to teach young kids music. We were receiving it and passing it on and on. Musician to musician. One human being to another. One soul to another.
am Mary Lou Williams. I have played through all the eras of jazz. I've played through all the eras. I'm the only living musician who can say that. The spirituals, ragtime, which my mother taught me when I was three years old. Then the time of John Williams, when the jazz band was the name of any small group that played with a beat. The Kansas City Swing era with Andy Kirk's band. Then Bob, the Disney Gillespie era. When I was a little thing, no more than two or three years old, my mother sat me on a lap while she practiced. She said one day, while she pumped the organ, my fingers beat hers to the keys, and I played what I heard her play. <laughs> I was all over Pittsburgh, a little piano girl from East Liberty, that's what they used to call me. Lovey Austin, one time I saw Lovey Austin, I will never forget that. It was thrilling to see a woman sitting in the pit with four or five male musicians, her legs crossed cigarette in her mouth, playing the show with her left hand and writing music for the next act with her right. I want to be just like her. I once played for the great Fats Waller. One of the musicians said to him, you see that little girl over there? She can play everything you compose today. Waller looked at me and said, no, she can't. Well, he put me on that stool, and I played that too, and all the others he composed, and he went simply mad, threw me up on the ceiling. I thought he was gonna kill me, he was so happy. And around that time, at the same time I met Jolly Roll Morton. I went to his office and played his piece, The Pearls. He stopped and reprimanded me told me the right way to phrase it. When I had it to his satisfaction, he slipped, I slipped one of my own tunes in. He corrected that phrasing too. And when I was with Andy Kirk, they used to call me, actually they started calling me, the lady who swings the band. In Kansas City, there's a pretty gal named plays a piano in a manner that is ultra new. Here of late she's swinging with the band. Let me tell you of this baby at the baby grand. When you hear a hot trombone, who's the power behind the moan? She's the lady who swings the band. When you hear the trumpet ride, who's the reason why big lie? The lady at the keys is a main attraction Who makes dancers on the floor At their feet and beg for more She's the lady who swings the band She's the lady who swings the band <laughs> Practically Every band in the U.S. asked me for arrangements. I worked by the car with the flashlight between engagements. I wrote many arrangements while playing with the band on the stand, just like Lovey Austin. Benny Goodman wanted me to write a blues or a boogie for him. Most black musicians thought boogie was kindergarten. We liked to experiment. But I arranged a number of tunes for Goodman, including Roll Em for $25 or $35. But it was a hit for him.
along the way, I fell in love with horns, not men. But Bud, Monk, Dizzy, they were like little brothers to me. I didn't stop in the bop years, though I do think it was the last great era. I just think there's so much confusion in the world, and the music has gotten confused too. Busy, 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 everybody's in a hurry. Busy, 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 everybody wants to worry about something that isn't real so they don't have to feel what's inside. Busy, 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 everybody's in a tizzy. Busy, 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 running around in circles, getting dizzy. Passing light right on by, never knowing the reason why we're here. from as many musicians as possible. I've even learned from one of the more gifted of the younger players, Cecil Taylor. I played my ass off that night. Satan does not want artists to create or be together as friends. I hear something in Cecil's music, and it trains too. Both of them, if they want to, they can play in the tradition. But so many of these guys who pattern themselves after Coltrane will never be Coltrane because they don't know anything about Basie. Right after that concert with Cecil, I went back to Carnegie Hall and I played with Benny Goodman. I can really say, I played all of it. The entire tradition, every era, me, Mary Lou Williams. And I was born with a veil, blessed or cursed, 
with the gift of second sight, clairvoyance, ESP. Even as a little bitty thing, I saw visions and spirits. Music gave order to my thoughts, provided a path to peace. I've had visions and played music for as long as I can remember. My psychic and musical gifts are one, and I'm a better improviser because of it. I've always been looking for a way to make sense of the chaos, for a way to express and put it out in the world as a thing of beauty. Fortune tellers, card readers, astrologers, Aquarius, Gemini, an ancient ordering of things. Stand. when we're all here in sync, having that conversation is kind of a telepathy between musicians. Music is a spiritual art, a powerful thing. All those people who come before you, they all come out in your music. They all come to you. And through you, they come. Generation after generation, all the way back to the beginning. I've been broke, hungry, and scared. It could be dangerous for a woman. On my way to my first recording session in Chicago, ah, the conductor assaulted me while I slept on a train. When I got there, I didn't tell anyone. I couldn't say anything. I just sat down and I played everything the band played. I did drag them in my, my original nightlife. These songs aren't sad songs. I just took what had happened to me on that train and I put it all in there with everything else I was feeling and thinking. And that's why it didn't do me in. I didn't forget it, I absorbed it. It's all there, all of it, in the music. Through the hurt and the chaos, music is a path to love and peace. New York City in the early 40s was full of soldiers and sailors. And if you knew where to look, the boppers, the modernists, the kids who changed the direction of the music, Mitten's Playhouse, Cecil's, and right here, Mary Lou's place. 63 Hamilton Terrace, Sugar Hill, Harlem. A tree line street, doorman, set off from everything. Quiet, pretty, so many good memories there. Mark and the others would come early in the morning and play that music for me. Some nights this place would be so packed with musicians, artists, people who love the music, laughing, talking playing cards. We had a ball here. I could look over there and see Bud in the corner. Monk at the piano to break it down. And Dizzy sitting on the floor. Listen, can you hear the music? What's your story, morning glory? What makes you look so blue? The way that you've been acting, I don't know what to do. For I love you, sure as one and one makes two. What's your story, morning glory? Got a feeling there's a lot you're concealing. 
Oh, won't you let me know your point of view? What's your story, morning glory? You've got me worried too. The postman came this morning and he left a note for you. Did you read it? Then you know that I love you. What's your story, morning glory? Give an answer to this patient romantic. Oh, won't you tell me that you love me too? What's your story, morning glory? You got me worried too. The postman came this morning and he left a note for you. Did you read it? Then you know that I love you. What's your story, morning glory? Give an answer to this patient romantic. Oh, won't you tell me that you love me too? If I must say so myself, I have written some beautiful music. <laughs> now, I didn't take credit for What's Your Story, Morning Glory, because the trumpeter Paul Webster gave me the idea. He eventually took it, added a bridge, and called it Black Coffee. Yep, that Black Coffee is really my song. What's Your Story, Morning Glory? You've heard Black Coffee, Sarah Vaughn, Rosemary Clooney, Peggy Lee. I fought Paul over it and eventually settled for nothing, $300. But most musicians are really beautiful people. And I wrote my first long piece as a way to honor so many of my friends and others. Always been inter interested in astrology. 
So I wrote a suite and based each song on a sign, and each sign on people I knew in the creative world. Aries. It's for Ben Webster, one of my great horns. Well, that's another story, Morning Glory. And my friend, Billie Holiday, changeable, moody, impulsive, brilliant, both of them. Now, Taurus is for Duke Ellington, Joe Lewis, and Bing Crosby. Now, just after the war, we performed the Zodiac Suite at Town Hall, and then at Carnegie Hall with the Carnegie Pops Orchestra. The paper cats are kind of stiff, but pushed by the jazz men, they pulled it off. I'm partial, though. No one can beat the flexibility and the quick thinking and the range of the most talented jazz musicians. 